It's season four. When are the zombie camos coming to Warzone? What infos have we gotten? And have they maybe canceled them? Thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers. It really means a lot. You guys are amazing. Thanks. So have they been canceled? Well, Treyarch first promised that support for these camos, for the zombie camos, I'm talking about Dark, Eva, Plague, Diamond, and so on, would arrive back in season one. And you might have guessed it, the zombie camos didn't come out in season one. On April 22nd, Charlie Intel actually released information that Raven has officially confirmed that zombie camos were coming to Warzone, but they said they needed more time to make it happen. And we are now currently in season four, so a lot of time has passed. Does this mean that zombie camos will maybe never get added? Well, guys, I'm pretty sure they will still get added, and here's why. So guys, listen to this. In the exact same article from April 22nd, they actually said something else. So Raven Software not only confirmed zombie camos coming to Warzone soon, they also confirmed that Gunsmith Customs, so basically, like, you know, you can save the attachments and make it to a blueprint, basically, were coming to Warzone soon as well. And can you guess how long that took? Well, they were literally just released at the start of season four. This proves that things that they announced months ago can still be added today. And that also means that it really does take them a long time to add things into Warzone. Another piece of information that I found is a few days ago, a leaker actually went into the files of Warzone again at the start of season four. And sadly, there was no new information about the zombie camos. But the good thing is, is that the zombie camos are still in the code. They have not been deleted. Now, another piece of information that I found interesting is that someone actually commented, so basically replied to a tweet from Charlie Intel, where they said that Raven Software is fixing some glitch. And they wrote, are they aware of FOV for consoles? So the FOV slider, the field of view and dark ether and charlie intel actually replied with yes they are so they're not denying that they are coming and this tweet was actually posted on the 17th of june this is all great but when are they releasing okay so if we look at the season four roadmap we can see that at the war zone part it literally only says payload for in season so they don't have a huge event or something huge at the moment that is going to be released in season four for Warzone. But if we look at the zombie side of things, we can see something that is indeed very big for the zombies community and for the zombies side of things. We can see a new map being released. Mawa the Totem. And if you guys play zombies or know about zombies at all, this is a huge deal because this map has been highly anticipated and is the second round based zombie map that has been released if we exclude the machine. Now just think, if you were Treyarch, when would you release the zombie camos into Warzone? Would you release them before you release this big map that has so much hype or would you release it with the map so that zombies gets an even bigger hype all at once and that you can basically make zombies a huge deal again. Now, I think that this is exactly what they're going to do. I think they have already finished coding and done all of the necessary preparations to implement camos into Warzone, but they're just waiting for the perfect moment. And this is the perfect moment, the release of this zombie map. I think they're going for the big impact strategy where they basically throw so much content at you that you're basically forced to play zombies again and that a huge new player base actually comes into the zombie community. And how I think they're going to do this is they're going to release the map Mawa the Totem and the zombie camos into Warzone and then two weeks later they're going to release a free weekend where you can basically test the zombie mode and so on they've done this in the past like two or three times already but this time it's going to have an even bigger impact 
and people are going to be able to play not only a new map there's actually going to be an incentive with the zombie camos to actually play longer and as you guys probably know if you've gone for the zombie camos you can't get dark ether in one weekend it's impossible but a lot of people are going to try to get maybe plague diamond and so on in one weekend and they're going to fail and because after the weekend they can't really play the zombies mode they're going to be forced to download the game and that's the big plan. There has never been a better time to release the zombie camos into Warzone. This is the final push they can do to get people to buy the game because these free weekends where you can try out zombies and so on that they've done in the past has all been not to give people a great experience or to give the community something but it's so that people buy cold war and this would be the final push to get people to buy cold war and to increase revenue if they don't release zombie camos in this season in season four they will never release zombie camos because after that after the season is done there will be literally no point. At this point of time, we don't have a 100% confirmed release date of the zombie map Bower the Totem, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be coming out at season 4.5, so in the halfway point. I'm going to update you guys as soon as we get new information about the map and or the zombie camos in Warzone. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.